Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Ridiculous Reverb Listings. I am your host, Fluff. If you have your own listing that you would like to see on the show, feel free to click that link down below in the description. And while you're there, feel free to hit that subscribe button to further support this channel. And with that, let's dive into it, shall we? Ibanez TS-808 1980s, battered but originally green. <laughs> Listen, I know, I know, it was originally green. $712.65. Let's take a look. I mean, it has a certain panache to it. I will admit, it does look kind of cool. Do you know what a pedal has to go through in order to look like this though? Do you know how many awful bar gigs this thing's probably played? Oh, what do you think this thing smells like? Leave a comment, describe it to me. Most creative answer will uh, win my eternal love. <laughs> oh my God, this thing is beat. Uh, could someone have like done this on purpose? It Here's why it doesn't look like it It was done on purpose, because the edge wear is too uniform. Like this thing was literally tossed into a case with lots of drum equipment or something, I don't know. And the green poking through the crud and the dirt and the uh, maybe this was spray painted at some point. Yeah, see the, the label being intact tells me that this thing was on some kind of a, I don't know a board or something and the knobs look horrendous <clears throat> I don't know man I think this thing probably smells awful it smells like it probably smells like old cigarettes dipped in like tobacco juice or something a proper relic and road worn but working as it should and a considerable saving on a mint condition one yeah, but what? Okay, so I guess we'd have to look up the serial number. I don't think this is a super early one, but I could be wrong. And also, maybe it was artificially aged or something like that because these gray, but these uh, square buttons, these are not great at all. Seven hundred and twelve dollars, though. It could be yours. Boy, that smells priceless, though. Marshall slanted 412 1976 black backs. <laughs> What is happening to this gear? Are people using this to like install drywall or work on their cars or something? Like, I mean, it's cool. Like this is pretty cool looking, but like, brother, are the speakers working? Good God. Thing is beat. I mean, I bet you sounds great. I actually really like the stitching along here. That's pretty cool. Yep, replaced uh, replaced handles because they're plastic. I mean, <laughs> take on the Aerosmith logo, easy. Damn. If this thing could talk, it would uh, it would probably just scream. I mean, these these uh, these aluminum uh, caster inserts like are, like actually cracked and split. <clears throat> okay, yeah, original black backs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the sauce right there. Lord, that is so beat up. Is this dude from Bouncing Souls cab. Selling this heavily abused Marshall cabinet. It's definitely beaten up as hell, but hey, some including me like that. Sounds phenomenal and just makes my amp sound better in my opinion, at least if you like British guitar tones. It seems to be mostly original, but here are the details. January 76 and one in June of 78. Caster socket is damaged, as I noted. Input jack was changed. You could wire it up in stereo, but I didn't do that. Most screws are new. 
1700 bucks still. Uh, you are in Austria. Okay, fair. $1,100 to ship to the United States from Austria. That, that cab would never make it. I promise you. But, you want an old beat up Marshall cab? There you go. Next, let's take. Squire Telecaster Custom Sitar Conversion. Who sent me this? Which one do you send me this? I really want a sitar, and all I have is this telly. That's, okay. Weirdo alert. What am I even looking at here? Bruh, what? I don't know how sitar works apparently. Cause it looks like the strings are over the edge of the, uh, the bridge. Oh my lord. <laughs> Where's Yngwie when you need him? Just shred it with the, uh, oh man. With the scalped neck. Boy. Uh, that's a little weird. Squire Telecat Custom Sitar Conversion with Hard Shell Case. Uh, Fender Squire, let's see, scalped and painted fretboard. This is a cool custom build, one of a kind instrument. I am finally letting relisting and go. Here is a Telecaster sitar conversion that my buddy built. This instrument is meant to be played like a sitar, not guitar. You play the drone strings and accompany with a melody. Intonation relies heavily, if not completely, on your hands rather than the neck fret position. Kind of like a fretless bass. Really? They're only there as a guide. Okay. This was listed two years ago. For $3,000. You want $3,000 for a Squire Telecaster. Just because you've done some work to it doesn't mean it's all of a sudden worth $3,000. Oh my God. Well. Uh, I don't even have anything to say about this. That's, that's like Fender Vintage Polish Cloth, 1960s to 70s. <laughs> For your 1960s to 70s case candy, we have uh, uh, a polish that, uh, wow, ooh, yeah, yeah, cool. Hell yeah. Uh, I found this in my collection of guitar bits. From what research I can find, it seems like a polishing cloth from the late 60s and 70s. I don't know how you can prove that. $131? Come on, bro. That's ridiculous. You know what? I'm not even spending any more time on this. Next, let's take Ernie Ball Music Man Luke 3 2016 Custom Painting Plus Signatures. <laughs> what? No. Stop. The doors waiting for the sun painted guitar on the signature model for Toto guitarist Luke by Ernie Ball Music Man. What what a weird that's weird. What does that have to Letter of Authenticity. James Pence, blah, blah, blah. Notary Public, blah, 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 blah. And it's signed by the members of the doors. Or two of the members by the doors. Um, I mean, it's fine. It's weird. <clears throat> okay. Yep, tomorrow's your pickup. Yep. Count Customs. Uh, guitar was custom painted by the people from the show Count Customs, signed by two members of the band The Doors for a charity event hosted by Robbie Krieger. Okay, that is now making more sense. However, it's weird that it's a Luke guitar. Why wouldn't it be like a Gibson SG? If you're gonna spend the money to get the Luke, you know what I mean? 
just saying. 9,300 bucks though. If you are looking for an Ernie Ball Music Man Luke 3, signed by the doors. <laughs> what a, what, what an awkward, what an awkward mashup. I, I, I don't know. Luke is a great guitar though. But still. That's just, mm. <laughs> It's for charity, so I'm, I'll, we'll, we'll go easy on it. We'll go easy on it. Next, let's take. Juicy Guitars Octopus 2024 for $1,800. Oh, the Juicy Guitar Company. In Oceanside, California. I will literally be there in like three days. I wanna go look for this guitar. hurts to look at. I want to look away, but I can't. I want to look away, but I can't. Oh, man. Oh, man. What is... Look at the str... What? So, someone is making, like, wooden carvings out of things and then deciding... It should be a guitar. I think it should be a guitar. Like, why can't I see the, the 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 pickup is not even on the body right here? What is happening to this? Why is why is this existing around me? At me? To me. This is definitely happening to me. Also, I don't know if the bridge is misaligned or the pickups are just misaligned. Is that plastic on the pickups from not, I, I, I presumably they're pickups or plastic on the pickups. Um, my God, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> I signed in the back. Brother, what on earth? Set this thing on fire, please. Juice Guitars Limited Edition, guys. It's limited edition. That makes it expensive. Collector Guitar Octopus. This guitar series marks number 100 guitars for its young company. Pictured as one of four guitars. All are same finish, same, same specs. This guitar is made in Oceanside, California and guaranteed to sound and play amazing. I highly doubt that. And finally, a Biffy Clyro Simon Neal Signature Smash signed Classic Vibe Fiesta Red Strat for $12,000. Oh my God. <laughs> what? He smashed a Strat. It's his signature model, right? His maiden is uh, his maiden Japan or, or China, crafted in China. Um, did he sign it somewhere? So there's three pictures. You want me to spend twelve thousand dollars on a guitar with three pictures, huh? This guitar was used and smashed by Simon at the Leeds Festival. The Simon Neal Stratocaster guitar puts Simon's own personal touch on a Squire Classic Five Series instrument. Um, three mint ply magnets, perfect for rhythm parts and blah, blah. Yeah, don't tell me how great it plays because it's broken. I know Biffy Clyro is like really, really big outside of the United States. I, I am aware of that. This is absolutely ridiculous though. That's, did someone, did he just like throw it into the crowd and someone in the crowd was like, I'm gonna sell this on reverb. I would love to know the story. Non-functional though. Half the body is broken off. But if you got 12 grand to spend and you're a, a huge fan of the band or Neil, then uh, yeah, there you go. And that does it for this episode of Ridiculous Reverb Listings. If you have your own listing that you would like to see on the show, I will link down below in the description. And while you're down there, feel free to click that subscribe button to further support this channel. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.